So I'm being joined. By Hanzo right there. He wants to hear my thoughts on Gotham Knights. So <laughs> let's get started. What's up guys, my name is on Cage Games. Welcome back to another video. Today, we got my honest thoughts on Gotham Knights. Thank you to WB and WB Montreal for inviting me out to try out the game. Don't get it twisted. Just because they invited me out, I'm not going to be like, oh, everything's amazing in the game. Gotham Knights is perfect. No. Every time I do these honest thoughts videos, I give you my honest thoughts. I don't understand why when I say honest thoughts, people are like, he's not giving his honest thoughts. And why am I naming honest thoughts? Come on, guys. So I went to the WB Montreal Studios, played Gotham Knights for a few hours. I'm going to talk about my likes and dislikes about the game. Let's first start off with the positives here. The first one being the story in the game. What I got to play was, I believe, a side mission where it was the Harley Quinn side mission. You had to go find her and she had evidence for Batman and then you fight her at the end. That side mission, again, side mission was so, I it was so intriguing. I was so hooked on that mission with Harley Quinn. The dev team had to tell me, oh yeah, that's a side mission. That's not even the main mission. So I'm like, hold up. This side mission had great story, was interesting, and I was hooked the entire time. So if that is how good the story is, for just the side missions. I cannot wait to see the main story. I can only imagine how good the main story is gonna hook us in. But from what I'm already seeing from the side mission of the Harley Quinn, it's amazing. The boss battle was not too tough, not too easy. It was kind of like that happy medium. I give a thumbs up. If all the other side missions in the game are like this, I'm ready for it. And speaking of story, this is amazing. The replay value in this game. I got to play as all four Gotham Knights through my little play test here. One of the chapters when I was playing the side mission, I was Batgirl. Batgirl and Harley Quinn had an interaction that was character specific. So if you guys don't know, in Gotham Knights, the characters have different dialogues for different cutscenes. So you can play one scene four times with four different characters and you will get four different dialogues. When I was playing as Batgirl, talking to Harley, Harley was saying like, If it isn't Batgirl, you hear for chat, just as girls. And then I saw my buddy Caboose playing and he did the same cutscene but with a different character. I believe he was playing Robin. He had a different dialogue between Harley and Robin. So technically you could play the game all the way through as Red Hood and you can play the game all the way through as Batgirl and you will get two different experiences. That is amazing. I thought they were gonna do like a little cheap way where the villains would kind of give a generic response to each character. Like, oh, it's you. I'm gonna take you down. But no, they're actually talking to the character. It's so cool. I love that about this game. The minor details of just having Harley saying, oh, us girls, or oh, it's the Robin who died. Something like that. It's so cool. So I love that about this game. When that happened, I was like, okay cool speaking of variety another thing i liked about the game is the variety of combat i was worried that when gotham knights got released it was just going to be four characters copy and pasted pretty much plays exactly the same just different skin i am happy to announce that's not the case if you play as red hood your character is going to be a little bit slower but you punch like a freaking tank if you play as robin you're really quick but don't do as much damage batgirl close up hand to hand very agile nightwing a little bit of everything he's the he's a well-rounded fighter so each character plays their own style so it's a lot of mixing and matching of gameplay styles i thought that going into it oh i was gonna you know love nightwing but then i was like oh snap red hood sure he's a little bit slower but when he hits the opponent <laughs> he don't get up character that i thought that i was gonna like a lot nightwing which is again not saying he's not good but Nightwing, I think, winded up being my bottom of my favorite character. I think my favorite characters are playing in Gotham Knight is Red Hood, then Robin, Batgirl, and then Nightwing. But yeah, love the variety of combat. Each character plays differently, and it's very fun. And you know what's more fun than going around beating people up as, let's say, Red Hood? Going around beating people up as Red Hood, and then having your homies come in and beating up people with you as like Nightwing. That is right, Gotham Knights has co-op. Co-op is back. One of my favorite things growing up is playing with friends, couch co-op or online, and 
Gotham Knights has online co-op and I got to try it out and it was sick. So this is amazing to me. They have, I think they call it untethered co-op experience, meaning you and your friend are not linked up with an invisible chain. You know how some games where if you go too far from your teammate, they kind of like stop you. They put up invisible walls or they restrain you from going too far. Gotham Knights has no chains. You could be on the tippy top of the map and your friend could be all the way on the bottom and you two can do completely different things. And then like an hour later, come back and team up. That is so cool that makes the game feel more alive oh what there's criminals fighting on the east side of the island go there i got the west side it's that sick another amazing thing about gotham knights the customization when i say that the customization is insane i mean it this game i kid you not have so many different things you can customize it's not gonna be easy to run online with another player having the same gear because there are gear sets of like a full suit, of course, like a, a chest, arms, mask, but then you can individually change the mask, individually change the arms to different items, and then you can change the color of your overall suit. So you can be like black and white, uh, red and white, blue and green, whatever. There's so many colors and armor you can change on your character. It is so crazy that you can do this much customization in the game. Because I thought we we're going to get like a couple of suits in the game, but I didn't know you can change the colors. And I didn't know that you can change the actual individual pieces of the outfits. It's great. Not only can you customize the color of your character, you can customize the, the bat cycle. You want to change that color? You can too. Literally, you can customize so much things in this game. I don't know how they do it. All right, I think I've gushed long enough about what I like about this game. There are some dislikes. Uh, what? 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 Cage, Cage, how can there be any dislikes? They paid you, they invited you. You're, you're kissing their booty. No, I told you. I appreciate them inviting me out to try the game, but I have my concerns and I have dislikes that I need to talk about because there are dislikes. First, I want to say, when I first saw the Gotham Knights gameplay trailer, my biggest concern was the speed, the pace of the combat. If you guys have played Arkham games before, the combat's very fast, very fluid, very fun. The gameplay trailer for Gotham Knights looked a lot slower. Now playing the game, what do I think about it? I think the gameplay is fun, but the combat speed, I'm still not 100% sure I'm with it. It's not bad the way that each character plays. Again, Red Hood, he's a little bit more tanky of a character, so he's not going to move as fast. Robin or, or Nightwing, you know, or Batgirl, pretty much everyone else that's not a tank like Red Hood. They move quicker, but still, they are nowhere near as speeds of Batman in the previous Arkham games. Now, this game is completely separate from the Arkham universe, so I want people to know that. Some people don't know. This is not connected to the Arkham game, so it's a different story. WB Montreal is doing their own thing. They play similar, but they're two different things. I played the game for, I think, about two hours, and all I was thinking to myself is, I would love if the speed of the combat was increased by just a little bit more. Like, it's okay, but when you're getting attacked by, like, five dudes, and, you know, your character's going like this, being a little bit quicker could be cool, right? I had fun playing it. Like you can chain combos together and all that. I would have liked to be seeing a little bit faster of combat. That's just me. The next thing I didn't really like is the lack of enemies. So I was told there are different types of enemy, like groups, factions in the game. I think I only ran into like two for my area of the chapter I was playing. So I didn't get to experience all of them, but there are some goons in the games, right? And the goons, there's a couple of like skinny henchmen and then there's like one big tank enemy which you have to do a little more damage to to take him out. I felt like I kept running into the same two tanks over and over again. It was the big dude with the shield and then big mama thickness over and over again. Maybe there are different tank character villains that you fight or, or henchmen, but from the play test that I played, I didn't really see any other big body hooligans is that the right word henchmen thugs yeah thugs but it was pretty much those two that i kept seeing over and over 
and over again. The next thing, which is a topic that a lot of people didn't like about when they saw it, and that is the traversals or how characters fly or get around the map. I tested all four characters, Nightwing's ability or traversal, flying, maneuver, I'm gonna call it the movement in the game, is his little glider. People made fun of it saying it's the Fortnite glider. I'm gonna be honest, it does look a little goofy that he has this glider, but I had so much fun playing with the glider. There was a point where it was a bridge and just a bunch of body of water. And yes, you could take the bat cycle and just ride there really quick. But I picked Nightwing and I literally just glided across the water. The dev team just sat there and watched me <laughs> glide across the water for like two minutes. Nightwing's movement, air movement, I give it a thumbs up. Robin, his is pretty unique. It's a teleport. So he looks like he, when he jumps, a little satellite beacon comes up and then you can pick where you want to land and he teleports there. It's pretty cool. That girl, her movement in the air is pretty much identical to the Batman Arkham games. If you want a character to play like Batman in the Batman Arkham games, Batgirl is your character. She glides around the air, she can nosedive and then fly back up. So Red Hood's air movement is him jumping on kind of like green soul portals or whatever because now he's back from the dead, from the Lazarus Pit, he has kind of like abilities. And apparently this ability thing is actually in the comics, in the newer issues of the Red Hood comics. Um, I don't really keep up with those, but apparently he does have some type of power like this. So it's not new, but a lot of the Red Hood fans from like Under the Red Hood back in the day know Red Hood as just a, a, a awesome character that doesn't have like specials. When playing as Red Hood, he has abilities where he can like kind of charge up his, his soul powers and then shoot him through the bullets. That's cool. That really didn't bother me. The one thing that did bother me a little bit was his little air movement thing. I know you gotta make each character's air movement different, right? I feel like there could have been a way to make him do air movements without using the portals. I don't know what the answer would be for Red Hood having better air movements. Maybe he can have larger leaps, you know, instead of having jumping into a portal, into another portal. Red Hood can just do a mega jump. I respect the dev team for trying something new. <laughs> I just, I don't know if I like it or not. The final thing I don't like about Gotham Knights from my experiences, and it actually relates to Red Hood once again, is Red Hood's face, man. Jason Todd's face. I don't know if I'm the only one. Love the game. Just not loving Jason's face, man. I don't know. Nightwing's face, great. I can see it, cool. Batgirl's face, perfect. Robin, yes. But Jason's face looks so weird. I'm sorry. I just, I saw it in the trailer when they first revealed it. And I'm like, and then I played it, hoping it would change it a little bit. And it's still weird. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm nitpicking. I'm cool with him having like the little streak in his hair, the little color. And then the scar. That's cool. You're awesome. You're tough. But your face, what happened to your face, man? I know you died. And maybe, okay, maybe, you might say, Cage, he's not supposed to be a pretty boy. He got freaking beat up by the Joker and killed. He's gonna look a little ugly. I get it. But come on, man. You could have made him look a little cool with his face. Good thing he wears a helmet in his costumes because you can bet I'm not taking that thing off. But man, oh man, that face is... I'm sorry. I'm sorry if the dev team is watching this. Can we do a, a day one patch update and change up his face or or something i don't know anything please overall what do i think about gotham knights i think it's gonna be a lot of fun i was a little worried when i saw the trailers gameplay i was like oh i don't know it looks okay but a little slow now trying the game for myself yes it is a little slow but that does not take away from the fun factor you can chain combos together and there's like tag team moves that you can do with a co-op friend. It's it's great stuff. It's nowhere near the suckage that is Marvel's Avengers, okay? People are saying in the comments, Gotham Knights is Marvel's Avengers. What? Not even close. Don't even compare the two, okay? This game is way better in terms of story, customization, gameplay, untethered co-op. It's the real deal. It's not the same Arkham games we're used to. Same kind of characters we know and love, just 
different canon, different story, different universe. I would say this final thing. I've been to many game studios to try out games before, but this is the first time I was at a game studio where like half the dev team was there watching us play the game. Before, it's usually me just sitting at a station and I'm just playing and it's one person in the room. There was like 20 employees there sitting there welcoming us to their studios because they've been working on this game for like what five plus years and it was me and Caboose and Jay Shock Blast were like some of the few early like I think we were one of the first people to play the game ever so they were really excited to see people actually try out the game that they've been working on so we had our little stations the dev team was standing around us like little crowds watching us enjoy the game I can see it from their face and from when I talk to them their passion for this game is crazy they love this game and they put their heart sweat and tear in this and they're excited for everyone to try out the game and I'm also excited for you guys to try this game because I was on the fence no no lie i was on the fence of gotham knights but now playing it i really want to play the full thing right now i want to play the story i'm invested i'm intrigued i love the character designs again except for jason todd's face but everything else is so cool the customization the character dialogues the replay value dude you can play this game four different times with four different characters and get four different dialogues it's crazy but there you guys have it that is my honest thoughts on gotham knight i think if you guys are a fan of dc games superhero games fan of dc universe you're gonna play this game and you're gonna have a blast but i will say this i think this game is meant to be played co-op you can play this solo it's fine but playing co-op in gotham knights i think is the way to experience the most fun stay tuned because we and when I say we, I'm talking about the homie Caboose and myself planning on doing a co-op playthrough of Gotham Knights for you guys. So stay tuned for that. We both agree co-op is the way to go for Gotham Knights. I hope you guys enjoyed this honest thoughts on Gotham Knights. Thank you to Warner Brothers and Warner Brother Montreal for again inviting me out to try out Gotham Knights. I cannot wait for the full game. I'm very excited. Again, not just saying that because you flew me out. I did like your game. It was fun. Now, please change Jason's face or something. I'm sorry. Maybe it's too late. and You can't change it. But please, day one patch. I, I don't know. Put a bag over his face, please. Am I the only one that think he looks like a potato? Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, drop a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know. What are you guys most excited for? For Gotham Knights. Like, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Ring the bell icon so you guys get notified every time we upload a brand new video. My name's on Cage Games and you Scott Cage. Is there any chances that MK characters could show up in multiverses? That would be a dangerous... Wait, wait. Edwin says that would be dangerous for me to answer.